I'm Marie and welcome back to Learning with Dr. Amri. Today I brought a vocabulary for you about winters. I know I'm shooting this a little late, a little bit, just a little bit late, but here I am with the video about the vocabulary which we can use in winter. So, so without any further ado, let's begin with the first vocabulary word. What is winter wear? Well, winter wear are the clothes that we wear in the winters. In short, they're the clothes that we wear in the winters. Let's move on to the next vocabulary word. The next word is wind chill. Wind chill. So what is wind chill? Wind chill is the cold air you feel on your body. Like it's the cold air. Like if you're wearing a t-shirt in winters and you stand on the roof or you stand outside the door or you're on your balcony or whatever and you feel a cold wind on your arms if you're wearing a t-shirt it just feels like something's hitting you does it tell me in the comment section and um, yeah that's what is wind chill wind chill if you feel that type of thing and you have to say something about that so you'll call it wind chill i feel a wind chill on my arm or my leg or my face or my hands whatever Let's move on to the next vocabulary. The next one is to hibernate. Hibernate. That's the thing mostly animals do. Like they become inactive in winters. They just go to sleep in winters. So, and if you don't see someone in winters, you'll say, I've not seen my rabies since such a long period of time. I think they're hibernated hibernating or hibernated whatever you want let's move on to the next vocabulary what is a cold snap well a cold snap is like in a short period of time like for two days or three days or maybe one week not more than that one week uh, your, your your weather outside on your city or outside your house is cold a little bit chilly after summers it's a little bit chilly and then it's summer that it's normal then the winters come the short period of time that is after summers like a little bit cold a little bit cold a little bit chilly that is called cold snap let's move on to our next vocabulary word. what is bundle up bundle up well bundle up is like you are packed in layers of clothes like you are wearing a scarf you're wearing a sock wearing socks and then a cap and then an other cap and wearing double socks dub, dub, and wearing double socks and uh, wearing triple sweaters and high necks round necks and then a warm warm dress like this and you're like bundled up in clothes bundle up the clothes you bundle up the clothes upon you it's gonna be you can make this as a sentence like bundle up it's gonna rain as cold as ice as cold as ice this is the phrase i use often like i use it very much very 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 much so it's not like the you are as cold as ice as like you are super cold like you're cold as ice you're feeling really cold as ice ice is super cold super super cold let's move on to our next vocabulary chilly chilly c-h-i-l-l-y so it's chilly is i have been using chilly in my first first vocabulary words like Chilly is basically cold, a little uh, cold, like you say, it's chilly, like you come from a heated room and then you come in a cold room, you say it's chilly, it's chilly. Oh. So guys, that was it for the video, I told you 7 vocabulary words and I hope you'll use them in your daily conversation and if you can make sentences of these vocabulary words that I've told you and tell me in the comment section it'll be really nice it'll be really 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 nice so the best way to practice english is to talk with your google assistant and to read books along with the audio version of that book which you're reading so 
that was it for today and I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Bye bye.